Have you spent tons of time organizing a view within monday.com? You hid all the columns that you didn't want to see. You organized the data so that way you had exactly what you needed. Like you use different filters and you had exactly what you needed. And all of a sudden you come back the next day and it's gone. Someone on your team probably accidentally played with your view and they changed and you lost all of your hard work. Let me show you a really easy way that you can lock a view within monday.com so this doesn't happen again. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. When we talk about locking views, the first thing that I just want to make sure that under everyone understands is what actually a view is. So if you come up here on this task board, on the top left, you can see that I have my main table. If I click on it, I would have a drop down. There's nothing here for right now. But the idea is that I can add different views to a board. Now, a view is a different way of viewing information. You can have some views like our dashboard, a Kanban view, a calendar view. Or you can have a view where you're hiding or filtering out certain information or grouping it in a different way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a view that is called my daily view. This is something that I do all the time for clients, um, specifically on task boards, because I think that, first of all, the most important thing is when you come in every single day to work, you know exactly what you're doing. The only way to do that is to know what you need to do today. So. I usually work off a task board. So here we can see we have a task board and there's a lot of columns here and there's a lot of due dates. And if I scroll down, there's a lot of different views. So I wanna really focus information on what someone needs to do today. And I also like to add things that they didn't do that are overdue because we don't want those tasks to fall through the cracks. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a view. Now, I'm going to start by filtering information. So I'm gonna start by saying when group is only open tasks. You can see here I have other groups for February and January, but I only want open tasks. So right now I've already gotten rid of a lot of information. Then I'm going to add another filter where the Robin, which is a person column, is dynamic me. What dynamic me means that it's me when I sign in. So like if let's say Rosa, who's on my team, would sign into her Monday account, she would see this view of all the tasks that are assigned to her. So this way you don't have to have a view per person. So we have the a group that we've limited, the person that's seeing it, and now I want to limit by date. So I'm going to choose my date column and I'm going to say it is anything that's due today or maybe something that's overdue because I don't want to miss anything that wasn't done. I want that to stay in here. So I'm going to save this as my new view. And you can see here on the top left, it saved it as a view. I can rename it. So I'm just going to rename it to my daily view. Okay. Now just to show you some other things that you can do to make this view a little more powerful. First of all, you can hide columns if you don't need them. So let's say I can just hide all of them and just go back and choose the ones that I want. Um, I'll just take these for right now and I can save those to my view. So now I've limited columns. I also can do something called group by, which is pretty cool. And what it does is it reorders information in a different way. Um, if you follow the link above, there's another, another video to the group by feature, but quickly I'll show it to you in this example. If I hit group by, so I can decide that I want to group by, let's say client. So now all of a sudden we have this view where I'm seeing it by different clients, which is this status column, but I'm seeing all the same information, only things that I'm assigned to and when the due date was today or overdue. Now I can easily change that group by, let's say instead of client, I want to sign it by priority. So I can see here are all my critical tasks, here are my medium tasks. Now you do need to make sure that you save it to your current view. So now I have this daily view, which is it pinpoints exactly what information I need to see. I don't get distracted by everything else. So the question is, how do I lock it? Because I don't want someone to come in and change it. So if you click on the down button, 
and then you click on the three dots, you can see there is an option for lock view to restrict edits. So I simply need to click on that. And here you'll say, it will say lock my daily view and only board owners can edit it. So now I can lock view. So now do realize that if someone is a board owner, they can come and change it. But if anyone else comes to this board, they're not going to be able to change it. So what that means is that I've created this amazing view where we are having our employees focus on exactly what they need to do. We can even make it a default and it's locked. So that means that no one can edit it. Let me know if this is something that you found to be helpful within your business when you're using monday.com. Looking forward to reading your comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.